and welcome to Queen City Skin Podcast. This is your host, Dr. Elizabeth Rostin, board-certified dermatologist, skin, nail, and hair specialist, and cosmetic expert. This is your place to learn about skin care, skin conditions, and the latest cosmetic techniques and services. Empower yourself with skin care and anti-aging knowledge for healthier, more beautiful skin and appearance. The information in this podcast is not for medical advice. It is for informational purposes only, so you should always consult with your doctor for your best care. What is your favorite place you have visited? Well, that's a tough one. I, at this point, many years ago, I did a horseback riding trip through uh, Tuscany, and I loved that. That was phenomenal. I mean, what's not to love about Tuscany, right? (laughs) But Ireland, um, my husband and I went to Ireland in 2019 and we just loved it. Um, we kind of did the southern part of the country and then ended up in Connemara, which is the far western part. And we were going to go back in 2022, but obviously pandemic prevented that. So Ireland. This summer, we're going to check out Scotland. And we'll see how that goes. What is on your bucket list? You know, I don't keep a really big bucket list, I don't think, Uh, although maybe I should. But I want to go to Africa, and um, I really, really, really want to visit Africa, um, South Africa, and safaris. But in Kenya, they offer safaris on horseback, and I really want to do that as well. So one of these days, I'm going to actually take some time off and go to Africa. What is on your playlist? Ah, you would be surprised by my playlist. It's a, it's, there's a variety. Um, I, but I tend to get stuck with like 90s things, like things you'd hear on the XM channel Lithium. Um, child of the 90s. Um, I do like country music and... Some of you here know that I like 90s old style rap. So I'll listen to that. I guess there's not much modern on my list. I do listen to pop rocks though on XM. What made you become a dermatologist versus a veterinarian? That's a really good question because all my childhood, I wanted to be a veterinarian. And anyone who knows me knows I'm just crazy about animals, in particular dogs, and I love horses. Um, I had decided as a teenager I was not going to be a horse vet, uh, which I think was a good decision. But I still kind of thought about being a vet, but I worked at a vet's office um, in high school. And then I also had an opportunity in high school to do this, like, four-day or actually it was two day, two, four half days shadowing physicians in the hospital or in their clinic. And I decided I really liked people medicine. And so I went to college pre-med and did not stray from that. And then dermatology happened in medical school. That decision, I was very open-minded when I went to medical school, but liked dermatology from the immunology lecture from Dr. Brigham the chair of UNC Dermatology at the time, and kind of kept that in mind, but was open about other things and was pretty set on being a surgeon, but kind of revisited dermatology and it was a great decision. It's a great career and I feel very blessed and very lucky. Um, it's a unique field. It's, it's a unique blessing actually to be a physician and to be able to take care of people and be involved in their lives and uh, it's a blessing and i respect that blessing but i'm even luckier to be a dermatologist at what age did you become an equestrian enthusiast that that i don't know but i was always crazy about horses and i can remember even as a wee little girl wanting to ride my cousin's horse um and collecting model horses, um, which have been returned to me from my mother. I've got to figure out what to do with them. <laughs> um, but I took lessons at camp and then other places growing up, but I did not get my first horse until age 40. 
but I did learn how to ride. And what's so lovely about riding, well, there's a number of things. I think if it's in your soul, you just have to ride. But it's a hobby. It's something that I learned as a child and it teaches great discipline as a, ch as a child because you just can't mess around. You have to behave around horses. But I can do it as an adult. And so as an adult, I get great enjoyment out of uh, riding my horse. But the other thing I love about it, it is a relationship. It is me working with another live being to achieve goals. Uh, to work on physical fitness and movement um, and also just have fun. But my horse, Salem, is involved as well. And um, it's just a wonderful dynamic, which is probably one of the reasons I haven't yet gotten to the bucket list of Africa because I leave behind all these living beings, four dogs and two horses. What is your favorite food? That's a good question. Anyone who knows me knows I am obsessed with sweets. I don't know if that's really a food. It probably isn't. Um, but I do love pasta and pizza. That's kind of a win-win for me. And then sweets. I mean, the sweeter, the better, I think. Like Tres Leches cake. I love it. And like those multi-leveled caramel cakes. Mmm. So good. I just, I can't get enough sweets. Yes, I work out to keep that off. What is your go-to beverage of choice? Water. It's really easy. Water from the tap. No ice. Um, but adult beverage, I, everyone here knows I love uh, gin. And I do love bourbon, too. Um, and uh, Robert and I collect wines. We have a lot, we have a great wine collection at home that we do enjoy. Um, the trick is just enjoying it in moderation and sticking to the go-to beverage, which is water. What book is currently on your nightstand that you're reading or about to read? Well, ironically on my nightstand is a book about sleep. Um, I did finish that one, but it's there for reference. But a book is um, one that was recently given to me at a book swap, and it's, I think it's on the bestseller right now, is The Last Thing He Told Me. And I will tell you, it will grab you. It's compelling. So it's grabbed me. Um, I tend to read a lot of nonfiction, which often doesn't grab you, but this one will. So I think I'll burn through that pretty quickly. What architectural style inspired you while remodeling your home? When we remodeled our home, we, we're kind of traditionalists, and I like traditional decorating, and I like respecting the architectural design that fits the neighborhood, which was Myers Park, developed in the 20s and 30s, and um, respecting the trends that were in back then. And so we, you will find a very traditional home and style in my, in my home. And then it also has to be dog friendly. What is your ideal Sunday? Yeah. Well, ideal Sunday is I might sleep late, which is kind of a joke because 6.30 is almost late. Um, go ride my horse go play with the dogs and maybe even get some golf in and a casual lunch. I do like to relax on Sundays. <laughs>